Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create user interface layout for your website by making use of a platform called Ready AI. Ready AI is a design generation platform that transforms verbal descriptions into stunning visual interfaces. With Ready AI, you can create interactive prototypes and maintain consistency across your entire design systems. What that basically means is whether you have a home page, an about page, a contact page, a profile page, a business page on your website. With Ready AI, you can generate designs that are consistent across all these pages, which gives your website a stunning look. Now, at the end of this tutorial, if Ready AI looks like a tool or a platform that really interests you, the Ready AI team has been generous enough to provide the first 20 people to use the promo code decode angle to get 20% of their ready ai subscription either monthly or annually so feel free to try that out and with that let's get started with this tutorial quick pause looking to level up your programming skills and learn something new check out educative.io educative.io is a platform designed to help developers learn and develop their skills in areas such as data science machine learning and system design with educative.io you have access to live coding environments code snippet playgrounds, quizzes, and interactive graphs. Whether you are just starting out or sharpening your skills, educative.io has got you covered. One interesting thing about the educative platform that I really, really love is the AI mock interview section. Under this section, you get to practice coding and system design interviews with an AI mock interviewer. If I scroll down, you can see the different sections such as the coding section, which involves two pointers, two ifs, then you have the union find and much more. If I scroll further down, you can see the system design where you get to practice system design platforms that are similar to Google Docs, Netflix, YouTube, X, formerly known as Twitter, WhatsApp, Uber Eats, and Uber, and much more. Then you have company-specific system design interview practices, such as Apple system design interview, Meta system design interview, Microsoft system design interview, and much more. If you scroll further down, you still have API design as well as object-oriented design, and then finally you have the behavioral technical interview, leadership behavioral interview, as well as customer-facing behavioral interview. And here's the best part. If you are using my affiliate link, which is provided in the description box below you get 50 percent on your subscription so try out educative today and i'm sure you are going to love it and with that let's head back to this tutorial to get started with this tutorial all you need to do is to head over to ready.ai once you head over to ready.ai all you need to do is to create a new account as you can see i have an account already created and when i click on my icon right here you can see i have the account page the billing page and then the sign out page and then once all those uh, once you've created your ready ai account you'll be presented with the option to create a new project and right in front of me i have two input fields the first one is called project name and the second one is called code so for the project name i'm going to say directory websites because i'm trying to build a directory website for you it might be something else based on what you want to build and then if i click on code option you can see we have different options while the recommended option by the ready ai team is the html option you also have options of selecting view the hand design for view the element design for view view 2 we also have react the hand design for react the chassis and design for react as well as the uni app I don't know what that is. I'll be going with the recommended version, which is the HTML version, because when you consider HTML, it's basically an industry standard for uh, when you want to design your website and it can be used in other frameworks that are not listed among these options like Angular. So I'm going to stick with HTML and then I'm going to click on create and a new project is going to get created for us. And the next step is it's going to present us with a input field. And within this input field, above the input field, rather, you have the desktop option and then the mobile option if you want to build a mobile application design you click on the mobile option but for us we are creating a website so we have to select the desktop option and then the next thing is within the input field you have this place order that says describe your design needs include style features or purpose for best results and then it's access to reference images if it's something you also want to consider and then down in the input field you have this option to select different styles you have the light mode as well as the dark mode option i'm going to stick with the light mode option and then for the primary color palette uh, you have the AI color palette, you have the custom 
customizer if you want to customize your color palette so i'm going to stick with the ai color palette and then for the corner radius for your elements you have the option of making it boxed or probably a little bit curved at the top or probably making it uh, more than the other two options so i'm going to leave the option the way it is by clicking out of it and then the next thing is just to enter our prompt i already prepared a prompt inside of google docs i'm going to provide the link to this in the description box on youtube so you can modify it however way you want as you can see like i said i'm trying to create a directory website and i have different sections that describes what this project is supposed to do for instance i have the project description the target audience the key objectives the relevant use cases and then the pain points so all i need to do is just to grab everything within this file head over to ready ai and then paste it within the input field one thing you need to take note of is ready ai has a character limit of 2000 as you can see we are very close to that character limit because we have 1898 characters ready ai can only take a maximum of 2000 characters at a go so you need to take note of that as well so with that i can just click on the send icon and then ready ai is going to prepare the page structure for us as you can see it's preparing the various page options you have the header section and then it's providing the options within those uh, section that is saying it's going to be a clean modern header with logo i mean it's describing what it's going to build and when you go through it if you are satisfied with what you see all you need to do is just scroll down and click on generate but if you want to modify anything it still provides you with an input field to either change or add something but i'm going to leave it the way it is because i'm satisfied with the various options like the footer it has the business order section the indicator section popular option popular near you section the category explorer as well as the featured business section so all i need to just do is just click on generate and then the design for our website is going to get generated for us by ready ai as you can see the design has been generated for us and you can see we have the nav bar which contains the logo the nav bar options like the explore the categories page the for business page and then the sign in page and if you scroll further down you have the popular categories the featured business categories and so much more so one thing you should take note of is it usually provides you with two different designs by default so you have the option a and then the option b you can see the option b is also as nice as the option a which i think it's even much more better than the option a so we're going to stick with the option b for this tutorial so you can see the design for the option b very simple precise and i mean it addresses our needs and uh, everything we want in a directory website you have the option to search you have the option to search by location and um uh that's just it for the design i think it's good enough um to be used for a product directory website so uh one thing i want you to take note of is the option to edit styles is still available you can change this thing from light theme to dark theme you can change the primary color settings from the ai color palette to your own customized color palette or you can change the color uh, the corner radius as well as you can see the corner radius for the buttons is uh, set the way it is right here so um probably we should just play around with one of these options so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the dark mode option and then i'm going to click on save and it's going to switch from light mode to dark mode so that would take some seconds to be integrated. As you can see, it has switched from light mode to dark mode and we can just scroll to check out how it looks. Uh, one thing I would like to inform the Ready AI team about is you can see uh, some of the texts are not very clear. Um, you can see this is too dark. We can't see what is right here. So I think they need to take note of that. And for instance, this part is not very clear. It's supposed to be text of white, but some of the texts are clear enough. They are white, but these ones are either too dark because it's a dark mode. This The text is not supposed to be also black. So I think that's a design flaw they need to look into. And um, I think every other part is fine apart from the text so i would say this is like a design flaw so that needs to be addressed as soon as possible so uh based on that we can't really go with the dark uh theme so we're gonna switch back to the light theme so i'm gonna click on light theme and then i'm going to click on save and switching back and forth i think shouldn't take so much time but for some reasons it takes a bit of time so i think that's something that should be looked into as well so while that is switching you can see we have this uh, option right here we can't click on it on it right now because it's still switching 
but once the switch is complete you can see we can now click on the code option this allows us to either copy the code or download the code so what do i mean by this so i'm going to click on uh before i click on that i think are we in the second are we in the option b design so i'm going to select option b once again and then i'm going to click on code you can see we have the option to copy the code with this button or download the code so it's in two ways eventually we are going to copy the code into our visual studio code editor but for now i want to create one more page that is consistent with the current design we have on the page because remember at the beginning of this tutorial i mentioned that ready ai allows you to create consistent page across your website so let's try and create the browse categories page one way you can do that is to over over the hamburger menu you have right here and then duplicate this particular so uh you might be wondering why don't i create a new page if you decide to create a new page by clicking on the new page button it's going to expect you to enter a new set of prompts that would be different from the previous design you generated so it's always better to you know uh duplicate the current page you already have for you to create a design similar to that page so that's what we are going to do so i'm going to click on the duplicate icon we have right here and it's going to duplicate that page so once that page is duplicated you can see it says directory platform copy so in the input field you have right there what we can just do is to tell the ai to generate the browse categories page so i'm going to press enter and then it's going to start processing the generation for the browse categories page so as you can see the browse categories page has been generated and then if you scroll down you can see we have all the categories listed and in total we have 24 categories so you can just check out all the categories being listed and you can also load more categories however way you want so with that we already have browse categories page created for us with this i think we can now transition to taking a look at this inside our visual studio code editor so to do that i'm going to head back to the home page which is the directory platform tab and we can also rename so i can just rename this home page and then press enter and then it's renamed as home page and i, I can also rename this as the categories page and then press enter as well and then it's now called the categories page so that will help us understand how uh, the different pages differ in terms of uh, design display the home page in our visual studio code i'm just going to click on the code button and then i'm going to click on copy code and then in my file explorer i'm going to create a new folder called ready and within that folder i'm going to open a visual studio code editor all i need to do is just to type in code and dots and then press enter then the first thing i need to do is just to op create a new file by clicking on the file icon and then typing in dot html and then pressing enter again and then the home html file is going to get created for us so i'm going to paste in our code and as you can see it's about 400 lines of code i think that's um maybe a bit much so we have the option of you know breaking this down for that if you are trying to use this code in production as you can see it makes use of fonts awesome it makes use of uh, different uh, form of cdns including um, the google apis as well and by default the C css um, framework it makes use of is called tailwind css so you can see the configuration for the tailwind css and the various objects for the tailwind css like the primary colors and the secondary colors the border radius and the like so you can always adjust those as you want so the style is also within the the html file which i think probably shouldn't be so probably there should be a way to separate that uh, while you are trying to export it so you have a css file and an html file separate from each other maybe the ready ai team can look into that as well and you can see the code i think is well sectioned you have the bodies tag you have the, the header tag and then you have the section tag which i mean differentiates each, each of the sections uh on the page for instance where you have the um find local trusted business near you section and if i uh, fold that you can see the popular categories also has its own section and the featured business has its own section i mean i think um, it's able to break every part of the page into its own section which i think is not so bad at all so what i want to do next is to run this in our browser so to do that i'm going to save and then right click click on live server open with live server and then it's going to open this page live server so you can see the page is opened on live server 
server and i think it looks even better on our browser because um, everything is clear and up close you can see it properly you can see the different sections and the border radiuses and i think it looks neat enough and ai does a good enough job with our design which we can also modify however way we want so if i add that back to ready ai you know you can also create more pages if you want by duplicating either of the home page or the categories page and then typing in the input field that um you want to create a probably about us page or any other page you want to create but what i want to do next is to grab the categories page as well so i'm going to grab the code for the guy for the categories page by clicking on the code button copy add back to our visual studio code create a new file type on category category dot html and then paste in the code so what i actually want to do is for us to be able to switch the tabs so in my html in my home.html file i'm going to scroll to the other part of of the file and where we have a uh, browse categories instead of having this hashtag we have right here which only links to the current page i can just type in category.html save and in the category html file as well scroll to the header wherever we have the uh, what do we have in the home section i think we have um um okay let me check for the home section let me check the other parts of the uh, what's it called page we don't have the home button among the header so probably in the logo I'm just going to remove the hashtag and then type in home.html and then save as well. So I'm going to head back to the browser and then refresh everything we've done. By default, live server refreshes the page. So we are currently in the home.html file. So I'm going to click on browse categories HTML file and you can see we've switched to the browse categories HTML file and we can see the popular categories, the features categories, and then we can see all the categories as well. That is the restaurant and dining, all the directories we need to, you know, check out is available in the category html page and we can also load more categories um i mean this is all design and um probably we can make it functional in one of my next tutorials probably uh, within the next two videos i do i will try to see if i can export this design to lovable and then make it functional i think that would be a very good tutorial idea you can let me know in the comment section if you'd love to see that we can also switch back to the home page by clicking on the logo because we edited that to have the home page uh, home.html file so we are now back in the home page and we can always switch back to the browse categories page as well so i mean i think that's it for this tutorial we've been able to cover capabilities of ready ai if it's something you like or if you have any questions in the comment section feel free to drop it i'll answer immediately the comments drops but as for this video i think we've covered everything we need to cover so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again in the next one gracias